In part one, chapter 47 of Don Quixote, Sancho Panza tries to talk some sense into Don Quixote, but the lunatic knight is happy to be in the crate, explaining knights of mm. lesser reputation never encounter these things. Nobody pays any attention to them. As Sancho Panza fumes, the traveling party meets a cathedral priest from Toledo. Don Quixote explains the enchantment that landed him in the crate, but Sancho Panza, angry that Pero Perez is standing in the way of Don Quixote's marriage to Princess Mikomikona, says his master is absolutely hmm. right in the head. It turns out that the cathedral priest also disdains chivalric romances. He thinks they're a danger to our country, providing pleasure to the exclusion of valuable lessons. Fiction, he believes, should be based on the truth so that pleasure and wonder can go hand in hand. In part one, chapter 48, the cathedral priest and Pero Perez continue their conversation about literature while Sancho Panza takes the opportunity to talk to Don Quixote, who's still in the crate. He tries to prove to the Don that he isn't enchanted by asking if he feels the need to urinate. In response, the Don urinates all over himself. In part one, chapter 49, Don Quixote insists that enchantments can take different forms, which is why he still feels human urges. Sancho Panza arranges for him to be let out of the crate when they stop for lunch. The cathedral priest attempts to explain why chivalric stories are so bad for the mind and suggests that Don Quixote stop reading about fictional heroes and instead learn about great men in history. Don Quixote counters that many of those heroes were actual historical figures, which the cathedral priest acknowledges before mm. pointing out their stories were greatly embellished. The Cathedral Priest and Pero Perez have stringent views about literature. They agree that fictional works should adhere as close to reality as possible so as not to confuse the ignorant masses who take their nonsense as truth and reality. Pero Perez even suggests the texts be viewed for both writing style and story quality by a member of the court. Cervantes himself was very careful to tow the Catholic Church's party line to ensure that Don Quixote made it past the Inquisition censors. Any explicit disagreement with what the church thought to be right and proper was a one-way ticket to the trash.